Occasionally, users ask how to make unique objects like the wheelchair shown in this video. That's the subject of this Quick Tips. Here's our imported uh, wheelchair model, which uh, we can see has the incorrect orientation, which happens sometimes with uh, third-party polygon mesh models, such as this one. We can see that the x-axis for the wheelchair is pointing from the wheelchair's right side to left side, and we need to fix that so that the, um, the x-axis for the wheelchair is pointing from its rear through to its front, um, like just like with vehicle models, we want the x-axis orient orientation to go from rear to front. Um, so the easiest way to fix that is just to rotate the wheelchair to the proper orientation um, so that the wheelchair is aligned with the uh, global x-axis, which we can see by changing our axis view to axis world. And uh, again, now we see this red axis here is the global uh, x-axis of our 3D environment. And uh, let's set the wheelchair to zero, zero. And now we're gonna go to the top-down view and we're gonna try to center the chair at zero, zero. It's easy to do this in uh, wireframe. So we're trying to get um, the center of gravity position in the xy plane to be uh, at x equals zero, y is equal to zero. Now that we're happy with the alignment of the CG with uh, x equals zero, y is equal to zero, we're just going to left click on our model and then export it as a VCM file. Just go to export selected and export that file. Now let's drag and drop our, our VCM file in. And now we can see uh, that the pivot point or center of gravity is properly placed at the center of the wheelchair and um, its x-axis orientation is correct going from back to front. And we're just gonna use that VCM file model now rather than the original file. An alternative approach if you don't want to bother aligning the wheelchair at uh, x equals zero, y equals zero, is just to uh, save the wheelchair as a VCM file. Don't worry about putting it at x equals zero, y is equal to zero. And then just drag and drop in one of the uh, vehicle models from the database. Take your VCM file, drag and drop it, and uh, replace the mesh of the bicycle or whatever the object is with the wheelchair. And now your polygon mesh from your wheelchair will be centered. And now all you have to do is um, adjust the uh, size attributes and the wheel placement in order to make your wheelchair model. And this uh, technique is shown in chapter seven of the user's guide. Now let's delete the polygons from the wheels because we're going to use uh, simulated wheels, of course. And it's often easiest if you go to element selection type and then just use the lasso tool to lasso all the polygons that you uh, want to delete from the wheel objects. And this is the same process that you do for vehicles as well. Now for vehicles, normally you'd want to also delete the vertices uh, for the wheels as well to ensure that the ground clearance setting is uh, properly set for your vehicle. Um, here we're just going to use a ground clearance of zero and we're not going to worry about the vertices for the uh, wheelchair object. Next we're going to uh, go back to the element selection type and define the various shaders for the polygons of our wheelchair. Now we can do a couple of test renders to make sure we're happy with how everything looks. And finally, we're going to uh, set our wheelchair to a rigid body object. And um, now it can undergo uh, simulations and interact with the environment. We'll set the uh, weight of our chair to 35 pounds. And we're going to, um, of course, add 
two axles to our wheelchair. And uh, let's go ahead and start modifying the overhang and track width as needed for this particular uh, wheelchair. Now that we've got our wheels reasonably placed, um, including adjusting the uh, wheelbase, we want to change the type of wheel that we have. Obviously we have two uh, vehicle model wheels and uh, what we want to use instead is a spoked wheel like uh, those found on bicycles. So what we're going to do is first place a bicycle into our environment and then we're just going to copy the wheel specifications from the tire onto the wheelchair. So we put our bicycle into the scene and if we go to axles we can see the, uh, the tire type. We're just going to copy that tire type, come to our wheelchair object and we'll left click and drag to select both axles for the wheelchair and then we're going to uh, click, left click into the tire input field and then we're just going to right click and go to paste and now we've changed the uh, type of wheel that we have for the wheelchair to uh, a normal uh, spoked wheel type uh, configuration. Now it's just a matter of fine tuning the wheel sizes uh, as appropriate for your particular wheelchair. Next we're gonna change our ground clearance to uh, zero but then we'll have to also change the height of our wheelchair to account for the change in ground clearance since the height input value is actually the Z position of the highest uh, vertices for our wheelchair model. So we're going to change the ground clearance to zero and then uh, we'll change the height to the proper value for the new ground clearance. And then we'll make a final adjustment to our uh, wheel size. Finally, we want to adjust the suspension properties uh, for the wheelchair so that the wheels cannot travel up and down on the wheelchair's uh, z-axis. We want to stop all movement um, up and down, of course, all jumps and rebounds. So we'll select both axles and then uh, set the upper and lower limits to zero. So now those wheels can't travel uh, up and down. Now we can give uh, this wheelchair uh, initial simulated speed. We can also make fine adjustments to uh, the pivot point or center of gravity position as needed. So adjust the Z position and X position as needed for your particular uh, wheelchair. Now we can simulate the wheelchair's motion using the simulation model and we can even animate the wheelchair's motion by using the uh, path animation tool. In the uh, wheelchair ad video, uh, we converted the V-Crash lady into a rigid body object and then held her in place using spherical joints to the wheelchair, uh, which we then broke the joint connections for as she was falling down the steps of her home. One other thing that we did was to um, use some joint torque to hold her body a bit rigid and then we released the, the uh, joint stiffness as she was falling down the steps and that was done using the diagram tool. Similar techniques were used for uh, this video where we used a path animation tool to animate the motion of the wheelchair as it moved forward and then turned off the animation and allowed the motion of the wheelchair to be simulated at this point right here. 
uh, we use joints to hold the crash man in place in the chair and then release those joints uh, just before impact. We also um, had V Crash Man's joint stiffness uh, be a value greater than zero to keep them rigid and upright and then release the joint stiffness um, just before the moment of impact. For a review of creating your own vehicles and other objects from third-party meshes, see Chapter 7 of the User's Guide. Don't forget to press like for our video and of course subscribe to our channel. Virtual Crash